This episode of another fantastic podcast is brought to you by you, the patrons of Patreon. If you're listening to this on something that is not Patreon, then it's an old episode, and you can enjoy it for free. But if you want the new stuff, the hot stuff, fresh out the oven, the second it's done, sign up for our Patreon and support your boys. Thanks for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fantastic podcast. Yeah, there's a lot of podcasts out there, but this is another fantastic podcast. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We back in there. Thank What's going you. on, everybody? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Settle down. Settle Guys. down. Shut up. Guys. Settle down. Uh, the pod is back. Um, we should start this off with a, uh, a patron plug. We always love to pick a lucky patron to mm-hmm. plug in the mm-hmm. beginning of every episode because you guys make it all possible. Because yep, yep. you're the producers at the end of the day. Um, this one goes out to Mr. Masters. Masters. Masters, get up my Masters. boy. Can we give him a hand clap, please? Oh, slow lap. Master of welding. Uh, a little less enthusiasm, please. A little less. You know? Okay. Nice guy. There, there we go. go. Yo, thank you, Masters, for supporting your boys. Really appreciate uh, everything on, that you've done, Masters. On both Twitch program as well as our Patron. Yes. We appreciate you. You're wonderful. Loves those beeps, and we actually talked to him. We talked to the man. Yeah. Good, good man. Good, good people. Boy. Good dude. Welder. Smart metal man. Um, so this is new for the podcast. Uh, a lot of things are new is for this though? podcast. Is it new? Yeah. It feels familiar. I don't know. Um, I think we've done this before. We're on video, actually. Uh, we are being recorded. Again. Mm. Our video presence is being recorded. <laughs> Um, so if you're listening okay. to the audio version of this, there's a video version. There of is, mm-hmm. but we're treating it like audio. so It's yeah. different this time, <laughs> the, technically. The video portion's just a bonus for our patrons in the $5 bracket that want the goods early and they want to see your boys. Mm-hmm. What's great about the podcast is it's alone time for us yeah. and you. You just sitting there. Just you. Right it's there. It's just you and us. It's just you and me, baby. And we're going to be talking to you, and we're going to be doing this weekly. So thank you guys um, for supporting us so much. You do make it mm-hmm. go around. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, are awesome. So not only is that new, but we got something else that's new. Um, so we've talked about this. This isn't an official sponsor. Yeah, um, not technically, but no. It is, uh, we do have a thing we can sort of uh, plug in. The only reason I'm doing it is because I enjoy it. And it works. Because <laughs> we know for a fact I've that it works. I've actually used it. Okay, before yeah, we, we use keep it all talking the time. about it, let me tell you what it is. Drink Aid is a anti-hangover, a, a hangover prevention uh, mana potion, if you will. Yeah. It is a health potion. Yeah. Here's how this thing works, people. Weekend's coming up. Mm-hmm. Let's you, get wasted. You want to you go out with your boys. You want to have a good time. Yes. Maybe find some females. But before you do all that, you got to you gotta sip. You got to pregame, right? You got to have a few drinks. But what do you do before you take the drinks? You have some drink aid. And what, happen, what happens when you do that? So you drink this. I, here's, I always drink it before I pass out and go to sleep. So the weekend's coming up. You know you're going to get drunk. Um... You drink this either before you start getting drunk or you drink it before you go to sleep and you wake up and your hangover will be cut. What's a good percentage you'd say? It, here's the thing. It won't, obviously, if you go like the hardest I've gone yeah. drinking, mm-hmm. I took one of these and I uh, I remember while I was drinking, I was so drunk. I was like, I'm going to wake up tomorrow. Like if I didn't have this. I know what's going to happen. You already I'm gonna wake up. Fucked. The whole day is going to be just fucked. Recovery mode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to basically be sick, and I'm not going to be able to eat probably till the Five. night. The night time. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. like late p.m. Because my stomach will be fucked. My head will be fucked. You're just out of commission. But drinking this stuff actually fucking works. We brought a gang of these over to Pax East. East. Mm-hmm. And we did some big boy drinking. Yeah. We were waking up. Ready to eat breakfast, like ready yep. to go, like hit the streets. Stomach was all right, ready to oh, eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, this is a big plug, but it's also <laughs> just I find it interesting. Sell out. Sell um, no, so it, we, here's it definitely the thing. works though. Here's the thing: you can buy it on Amazon. It's called Drink Aid. It used to be called Never Too Hungover. They changed their name. I like the new name. Yeah, Drink. Good, good choice because it's way more catchy. Aid. You can uh, type in the promo code 
15 Djibouti. That's 1-5 J-A-B-O-O-D-Y for 15% off drinkaid.com or Amazon. And they even got the Prime availability so it gets to your house in like a day or whatever. Easy. Um, there's two. There's one that is... Uh, I guess they kind of do the same thing. One's marketed as you drink this before you go to sleep mm-hmm. or before you party. That's your hangover remedy. This one is the drink it the morning of to sort of give you a boost. Yeah, it's I got a little energy boost in it, right? They both, this one says, the, the, the one that says before you go to sleep says take before or while celebrating. And this one says take before, take while. while it. This says take before, while, or the day after. So I don't know. So ladies, when you're taking your plan B, take the blue one. <laughs> yeah, the red. It, I'm telling you, it fucking works. Uh, the red one is the one I always go with. I drink that before I go to sleep. We did some drinking last night. I drank yeah. one of those, and I woke up pretty. I'd say it cuts. I'd say it cuts off maybe like eighty percent of the hangover. A big really? noticeable difference. Yes. For me, it actually completely fixed my hangover. I didn't even have one at all today. So I don't know. Really? Maybe wow. it just varies from person to person. But I know for a fact depends how much you drink. It, it, yeah, it depends how much you drink. But I and I know for a fact that it does work because. Sure, it saved my life a couple times. We're taking yeah. it to the cons. I'm, that's yeah, what I it's, it's a necessity now. I'm bringing <laughs> a box of that shit to every convention forever because people love to do some drinking at conventions. Mm-hmm. And the last thing you want to do is just waste the trip being hungover. Mm-hmm. So that's the bonus. And that's their plug is they're like, it makes money because you're able to get up the next day and work, essentially. Yeah. Uh, so drink at of, work. So give it a try. If you do, let me know. Let, let us know if you guys enjoyed it yeah, and yeah. if it worked for you. I gave let one to boys Stamper as just like, because I know he's a drinker. Mm-hmm. So I gave him one. I let said, make I said let, me, uh, let me know. Let me know how it goes. And uh, the next morning he gave me a text. He's like, them little fucking mana potions you gave me worked. <laughs> them shits work. He's like, they, he's like, they should market it as uh, you can drink a lot more than you think you can. Like <laughs> now he's like, I should have drank more. And I was like, Well, that's the thing you don't want to do. Got to drink responsibly. Yeah. Drink responsibly, mm-hmm. but wake up feeling uh, pretty damn good. And you can even look at the reviews on Amazon; it's decent. But I was skeptical. Made me a believer. Um, yeah, it's a big plug for mm-hmm. something, but it is just a good conversational piece because every time I've been at the store, they're starting to be at grocery stores and shit too. So you could probably pretty much find them everywhere. Uh, every time we've been ringing these up, people behind us in line go. What's that? What's is that, that, is that, is that, that an anti hangover? Does that work? I think, yeah. And I'm like, it actually fucking works. They go, really? And they leave the line and go grab a few. So it's uh, it's talk of the town as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Guys, get the drink aid. Try it. See if it works. Um, but yeah, they gave us a little promo code. So we have a tiny, tiny little kickback. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. If you want to spice up your weekend, you know you you got a birthday. <laughs> you got a wedding coming up. Give it a try. If and you they know, support us. Yeah, yeah. You support us. And if you know you're going to be doing some drinking, but you feel like. <laughs> I need to drink some more. Try it as a fun experiment. Just try it. Give it a try. Um, moving on. That was a big spot for them. Jeez. Sell out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, video's back. We're back on video. Um, oh, the journey of the video podcast. The back and forth. So, do we do audio? The thing do with this video? the thing with this is uh, it's not. Uh, okay, so, God damn this go. The, the, again, the tr- I'm tired of talking about the history, but it was on video, then it wasn't on video, then it was on video, and now it wasn't on video, and now it's back on video. But, yeah, all you guys need to know is n- it's back on video again. The it's reasons, back on both. It's back on both. The reasons why it got off video is because after we do a few, I think we look at it, and we're just not happy with it, the mm. way the setup is. Even yeah. right now, the way the video is, it's like black and white, and the room is not cropped, and it's shitty, but I figure let's just do that as a temp. It's mm-hmm. real. Temp- temporary right. you get the raw uncut which i think probably makes more sense right um but when we get a new space we're gonna do it up better because again with the video it's like i don't want to be looking this way i'm talking to you guys I why would i be face when I why talk. would my body face that way right now yeah mm-hmm. so the whole room i think we're not cropped so yeah we can you could, should be able to see us you should be able to see all of us at a comfortable range but the dream is get a bigger space so we can have it set up and looking cool and not yeah. be ashamed of it and be like, oh, God, it looks ugly. Yep, that is uh, the dream. That our is green dream. screen isn't big enough to do, like, a good setup with it. It's to be fair. Half of us are chopped off. It's not the shit. green screen. It's the size of the room. Yeah, we're we're limited. We only got a few feet here. So we're very, working with what cramped. we got. Yep, yep. But we're back on video. Back Thanks. on video, boys. You guys, the um, old, new, old show <laughs> is back. The video, as far as... Right now, it's exclusive to patrons. So consider yourself lucky. 
uh, exclusive Patreon. Maybe this temp, these first couple episodes on video will stay Patreon exclusive. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then once we get it to a level where we're happy with it, we'll start dishing them out on YouTube maybe uh, late. But patrons always get that. First, that first bite. Oh, my God. Mm. They, get they always first get bite. the hookups. The hookups. Mm. They got their forks and knives to get that first. So the steam is the juicy. It's the juices come mm-hmm. out. That's what they get. You know what I like, though, is when the old content goes up and, like, all the patrons like, seen it. <laughs> it's on the Patreon. <laughs> oh, this, this old thing? Yeah, I already watched it. 12 times. The mm-hmm. best part about that is I was hanging out uh, with Jeff and our whole little gang of friends and JT, the tool man, Taylor, was there. Who He's been on the show uh, once. Twice, once, twice, once or twice. Twice. Um, handyman listens to the program. Hi, JT. I know you're listening. Going on, JT. Um, Did he pay for this? He so says. Uh, he <laughs> asked me. He goes. Uh, so why is your podcast like always so late? And I'm like, because the patrons get it first. He goes. Oh, now I look like a bad friend. Oh uh, well, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Just admit. I was like, how do you not know that it's the first thing I say? Before even the intro, he goes, oh, I skip wait. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just wait for that audience. I skip that. Skip Every, all that boring He's like, shit. everyone knows as soon as you start a podcast, the first thing you do is click skip ahead 30 seconds. Oh, that's what I do. I press three times for like, I have like my button presses for specific podcasts. I'm like, oh, this is a three mm-hmm. three, three press. Maybe I should switch it up. Maybe oh, I put should, in the middle. Yeah, maybe. Wild card. Not yeah. the middle, but I should like, I should divvy it up with like. Guys, you'll never believe this. Like a like a minute in or something, and then drop the Patreon I like, shout out. I like doing like a subliminal thing, like Patreon. That's cool too. Patreon. Hey, guys, check out the Patreon. Like a little. Just, I need to get the drops going again. Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. There's a little Patreon. Oh. Patreon. Patreon. Don't forget Patreon. Um, Patreon's been kicking ass though. You yeah, it really has. It's been us. blowing up. Yeah, and you guys are going now? Where's all this going? A lot of it goes to time to make the stuff we make, but a large portion is going to be going towards the move that we've got coming. Bigger and better. Mm-hmm. Um, the new studio space we've been working on. Literally can't do it without you. So it's guys yeah, make it all possible. Can't it's, thank you enough. It's crazy. I got to a point where we're making moves, like real moves. Stuff's That's happening. Insane. It's weird to think it's about. Crazy. But, um. Let's get into that more. What are we going to talk about here? Uh, the recap of last week. What mm-hmm. did we do last week? We, uh, we played did a Resident lot of Evil. Resident Evil. Resident Evil is a lot of fun. We're playing I a lot of Resident Evil 4. Uh, Resident Evil this week spawned a lot of Ligma jokes. A lot of memes on the, the playthrough. I like playing old classics, man. Hanging out with the chat is fucking great. This fucking chat was yep. killing yep. me. You guys killed it this week. They were too quick with I the comebacks. Crying. With the Ligma jokes. Crying laughing. Y'all know Phil? Y'all, who's Phil? I don't know Phil. Who's Phil? Um, it's the Phil gag. If you guys aren't familiar, um, we we ran a contest within the chat to make up a Ligma joke on the fly. What's a Ligma? What is a Ligma? Ligma balls pops. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Now I have Ligma eggs all over my face. And ha, you ha. have Bofa. <laughs> Bofa what? Both of these nuts in your mouth. Ah, got him. Got him. God damn it. See, Justin just keeps setting them up. I just knock them down. Yeah. Man. It's just too and easy. I keep falling for it. You keep falling for it. Damon's on fire just like <laughs> Phil. It just Damon's just rubbing his big greasy balls on my Wait face. Wait a minute. Who's, who's Phil? Who's Phil? Who's Phil? Fill my ass. Oh, with, God. I like to add got the, him. I like to add the with that dick because it makes it more <laughs> with that personal. dick. Because you could fill an ass with. A bowling Any, pin. Anything, really. Just about anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, my first thought was like a turkey baster, but I guess you could really use anything. Yep. Um, uh, which was great. The best thing about the Phil gag is I went over to Milton uh, Milton stream and I said, hey, do you want to RP together as, uh, f- do you want to play as Phil tonight? He goes, who, like so real, he goes, who the fuck is Phil? <laughs> like so real, and like a few of Djibouti people were in there. Mm-hmm. They're they just all waiting started for it. laughing. I'm like, fill my ass with that dick. Ha, got him. He goes, what? That's <laughs> the least got him you could <laughs> possibly goes, do. You didn't get me. I'm not you God. You didn't get me at all. He said it was, it was like you did it wrong too. That's why it's so funny. But uh, shout out to Twitch account 69 for creating that meme yep, within the yep. community. That was legendary, man. Uh, so but Bill was but born. Be, but be careful because the ligmas of the world, uh, they have a shelf life. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't They're wanna, short-lived memes. You got to be careful with those. You really do. You don't want to say them a little too much. 
Like, is the D's nuts still? No, I mean, no, that's dead. No. But okay, it's a reference at this point. It's like the graveyard of old memes. You know, it's, you're the D's <clears throat> guy. Yeah, <laughs> it no longer has like an effect, but it has its place. Like, it it has like its moment in history. Like a pl- it probably is like a plaque hung up. Yeah. You know what's funny is I saw a video of the D's nuts guy doing like club promotions <laughs> like recently good for him <laughs> and i always wondered what he, he was up to he took those nuts and he ran with them man just, just for him just taking pictures with big booty girls and like cool. oh that's the d's nuts guy <laughs> he's like god oh wait what, what's in the picture with you these nuts <laughs> ha ha just god. ridiculous fucking teeth <laughs> god, yeah. god. I, I don't even know how he says it god god, god he says like god him god him um yeah, I always wondered what happened to him, and then I also always wondered what happened to hide your kids, hide your wives. But I watched a, it's one of those things where you go down the rabbit hole of the internet. I saw what he was up to. Is he up to anything productive? He basically tried to live out his L.A. dream, and I don't oh know boy. if you guys remember, but he was in like a lot of shit. Like he was on the BET Awards for a minute. Really? Like performed. He blew up that much. I don't like, remember any was, of that. He was on like some reality shows and things. Like he was doing stuff. He did Family Feud with Steve Harvey. <laughs> he was like, I was living my dream out there in L.A., and I was working with a manager. After all this time, I found out. The manager would be making money off of me, <laughs> and he didn't see like a dime or something. Nice. <laughs> hey, I'm so here with like, and me. Yeah, so he's like, I just called my mama. I said, mama, they being they mean. They use me. They stealing my money. She goes, baby, just come home. So he just went Aww, home. Oh, mama. So oh, man. there's a lesson to be learned there. Hollywood will rip your ass out, take it, but your mom, she's going to bake you some nice food. Mom know? makes it all better. I do like the the meme people of the world that that make it off of base their memes like the Charlie Bitney guy. I'm sure he has an enterprise. After seeing uh, Antoine Dodson led me to watching uh Taze on Day. Taze on Day. What is Taze on Day up to these days? He did a fucking Dr Pepper commercial. Good for him. I like, remember good. I God. remember that. Get that Pepper money. Uh I think I he tried, I think he's like I tried they wanted it a they wanted me to make an original song, and uh, they didn't like it, so I just did Chocolate Rain. <laughs> you know, it's just Pepsi around me. Just Pepsi <laughs> Rain! <laughs> a real original piece. Pepsi Rain. Um, but yeah, I think he just, like, I don't know, still does shows or something. I just would rec- guest appearances, pl- I would places. recognize Taze on Day in, like, a, like a, he's, like, he, I've seen his face enough where I'd be like... He did Twitch dude, for a he's, little bit. Yeah, I, feel did, like I think he might still do Twitch. He was, like, one of the original viral videos, like, just of the internet, just in general. I feel like he yeah. was a huge like chocolate rain was a big deal. That was right? big. Was he not the first? How many views does that have? Pull yeah, it up right now. How get many me views? a status update on Tazon Day. My earliest favorite. Uh, That's why we meme, need Alexa. My favorite meme of the past was the Afro nunchuck guy who hits himself in the head. He was a uh, self defense guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh, oh that hot loud. fire! Careful, Ooh, he goes dude. That. That's so many views. My God. I'm actually surprised it doesn't have more. Really? That's a lot. Oh wait, no, that's billion. Wait, no, no that's, it's, million. It's that's, million. that's million. That's million. One eighteen. What's math? Yeah, 100, 118 million. 118. Yeah, I thought it'd be like in the billions by now. He almost has a billion upvotes. That's pretty Ooh, great. That's pretty nuts. Ooh, good on him. Wow. Chocolate rain, huh? Speaking of original <laughs> viral videos, you guys remember Chad Warden? Chad, yeah. Chad Warden. Yeah, yeah. whatever happened to good what old had, Chad? What's Chad Warden up to these days? Chad Warden. The we, the when did this, what year did this come out? Scroll up. This was Chocolate Rain was 2007, 2007 man. You want to feel old? If I'm not, I don't know. I might be wrong, but I think it was like the first viral video, was it not? Uh, I, I guess yeah, that's a whole debate, right? What if I oh. search first viral video? Place your bets. What do you think it is? Oh, we're uh, going down the great, rabbit hole. Great lady, great oh, fashion uh, lady. Uh, I'm gonna go with Chad Wooden. First viral video on... Oh, the Star Wars kid! Yeah. Oh, of course! Star Wars kid, for sure! I'm mad at myself for forgetting about that. Uh, uh, just think back to E-Bomb's world. This is, <laughs> what do we used to watch? This is fifth anniversary to YouTube's first viral video. No? Oh, that looks like a virus. A virus video. <laughs> you want to see your first virus well, video, just huh? Do, just click here. Some of them are fucking working. Oh, oh the, yeah. Oh, the Numa Numa, Numa. Numa guy. It might have been Numa Numa. Numa Numa. Wow, if he did that today, no one would give a fuck, huh? <laughs> Nobody would care No one at would all. give one fuck, would they? Maybe Rihanna, but maybe not even that. 
What about that Damn. little guy? That uh, that little, little guy, guy who would uh, oh shit, I'm not gonna be able to remember this. He like he would do the same. He would do Numa things. He's like a little guy, and he would uh, <laughs> <laughs> his little, little fella, I don't know, handicapped little, is this what you're little to say? dude. Okay, um, he did it, and then he did one when Fifty Cent like. Came in the he's room. still around. I think his you name's Brian. Oh, I think oh. his name's Brian. I don't even know it's what to like search. I'd search little guy. The <laughs> skinny little uh, little guy. Little white YouTube kid? lip sync. <laughs> yeah. With Fifty Cent. You think it'll come 50 up? Fifty Cent is gonna get it. There, there he is. is. Oh yeah. This guy. Oh, I was thinking somebody. Yeah, yeah. This guy. Keenan, what happened to him? Keenan Cahill. Keenan Cahill. With Fifty Cent. He just did um 2010. Uh, that's a long time ago. Damn, and is he still out here making stuff? Uh, it's uh, he's got eight months yeah, ago. Uh, not so much. He was making original tunes. Good on you, brother. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. I wonder what he's doing now. Eight months ago, huh? He's taking a break, getting some inspiration, <laughs> taking some time off, just kicking it back, kicking oh. back with Fifty Cent. That's what he's that, doing right I remember now. That little guy. I just want that guy just to be getting laid. I just want just just swimming in it. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. He's Hell hanging yeah. out with Fifty Cent. Look at him. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Little Where's guy, my notes here? It's amazing, right? Twenty-five cent. Five cent. I wonder. I always wonder. Should we get an Alexa? Because couldn't you? Could I say that and she would search it? Right? Hey Alexa, where, what's who's that little guy who did the song? Alexa, who's that little who's guy? That, who that cent? lady go in that movie? Who's that little fella who did the thing with Fifty Cent on YouTube? She'd be like, Keenan Kyle Hill. Like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I gotta get one of those. I don't think technology's there yet. I think we're still yeah. in that derp phase of technology where you kind of still have to do the grunt of the work. I don't think Alexa would have picked it up. I think it was yeah. a little too broad. So if we were like, "Hey Alexa, who's that little guy uh, that, in, in that thing? Who that baby? Who, who's that know. little baby dude?" I, I don't know. <laughs> There's lots of little dudes. Please be more specific. Uh, what else did we do last week? Uh, we did um, the nerds in GTA role play. We and, had uh, probably one of our best role play sessions. This I I know it's a good role play session when I watch other streamers' perspective, and I did yeah. that this this, mm -hmm. this week. That's always cool. It was like a server wide event. Everybody was having a there was a grudge match between Fanny and Moist Candy Moist. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> okay. Well, we watched the fight, and our two nerd characters got thrown in the ring, and we had a dice game in which we both rolled natural 20s, countered each other. Damn. Clashed. Milton hits Damn. me with a roll 15 damage. I only have 20 HP. I had 5 HP left. So in the presence of the entire server. On the ropes. Derek summons Ludwig's holy blade and strikes no. him down with a backspin kick, backspin slash to the throat, and rolls a natural 20, defeating a him. An ultimate Attack. Ultimate attack. Took everything he had. Damn. And, um, yeah. What can I say? And Talk about a mighty cool. battle. What can I say? What can I say? Uh, what I was, what I love watching other perspectives on it was reading their chat. They're like, I've never seen meta RP like this, where you're role playing within the RP. Role playing and role play. And they're like, this is kind of cool because it worked it's, out well. People probably still play Dungeons and Dragons, so they have a little <laughs> bit of that and they know the RNG aspect of it, of just mm -hmm. going with it. And, Man, it was really cool. And you guys mm -hmm. were on it too with the improv, right? Because then they just throw you in there. Yeah, yeah. And you just had to fight like that to yeah. death. We were just pinned up against the, the wall. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. That was one of my favorite role play sessions ever. That was fucking awesome. So if you guys missed that, make sure you check it out. The, the pod should be up soon. The Twitch is hot, boy. Um, we're gonna do a lot more collabs with uh, Milton and Classy and Disby in mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, want to do the Forest VR real bad. Yeah, I want to like do that. Is I mean, we did a good percentage of it, but I want to see what happens. I don't know how big that game is, how far it goes, but being stranded together in a scary forest mm -hmm. with your friends in VR is just fucking awesome. We gotta with get the pops dirt. in there oh, too. Yeah, I'd love to get in that. Yeah, we gotta figure that out. I think we're waiting on Disby to fix her VR. Yeah, thing that'll somewhere? be fun too. So we got a lot of VR stuff coming up. Um, anything else from last week? Last week, uh, and then Resident Evil again. Right? House Hunt, right? Yeah, we've been looking Just, at houses. Yep, we're trying to, house like hunt. I said, we're on the search. We're on the search, boys. We're going to make something amazing. Yep. I did a post about it on Patreon not too long ago, I think yesterday, as a matter of fact, saying that we want to build something so fucking dope that like, when people turn in, tune, on, tune in, they'll be like, this looks like a fucking movie set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at getting the, the metal beams that will hold up lights and get it all professionally lit. And um, we're thinking of doing like a 
like all the upgrades we're thinking about are pretty cool. We're thinking about having four big screen TVs one uh, for the dual computer streaming PC setup we have. We're going to put them on rollers, too, yeah. so, so we can get in the back of them shits. Everything's mobile. Because, uh, as you guys know, when you need to unplug something, man. It's a fucking you, if nightmare. You gotta, if you got a setup where everything is just a fucking mess, it is. You don't want to ever fix anything. So mm-hmm. we're going to have everything open, movable, spacious. You know, elbow room, elbow room. We got no elbow room yeah. in here. I move my elbow, I yep. bang your shit, I bang this shit, I'm banging stuff. Banging, banging the banging the. I see like a lot of like big, you know, Patreon people, like the filthy <laughs> casual guys and see what they've done with it. I'm like, God damn, I want that. We can yeah. make that happen. Yeah, and we are. We are. It's about to happen. But we got to get through this goddamn search, man. The and, process, um, though, of finding exactly what we're looking for is just taking forever. Yeah. It's so everybody's like, yeah, you should just move. Probably right. Yeah, but, you're probably right. You're probably yep. right. But uh, we got to stay close to family and friends for now. So we're trying to stay within the neighborhood of California. IA. Mm-hmm. But goddamn is it. Slim pickings out there, and shit goes quick. It goes really quick. You see a, a house get po- you get a, you see you see a house get up for rent, get posted, and it's gone the first day every time. Every yeah. time you got to be checking this shit every day. And it doesn't help when you uh, you're out here getting uh, house fished. We showed up to catfish. We getting catfished. This isn't with like a, a ligma house. joke, is it? This is not a ligma joke. Okay. This actually happened to us. No joke. We were uh, s- uh, scheduled to go walk a house, and we when we get to the house. The interior of the house looks completely different than the pictures we saw online. Not even the same pics. Not even the same at all? all. Not, no, not even close. Even. That sucks. Whoever was showing it off had no shame. Yeah. No shame in it. It's so, just, it's just, right. it's oh, and shit, man. I forgot to say, uh, so we did the walkthrough, and me and Justin are just like, what, what the fuck happened? Why is, are we in the right house? What's going on? So after that's done with, <clears throat> we check again on the website like to figure out what went wrong. The lady updated all the pictures. To the right pictures of the house. <laughs> so everybody that shows up is going to be like, is this the right place? No, no, this is it. See, look, look at the house. Did you guys it, mention something when you were there? I, no. No, nah, nope. not really. I just was like, just to recap, and I dropped all the specs that it actually was. And she's like, yeah. I was like, okay. All right. Because I thought it was something else. But I There's think, a missing bedroom? Or? I think what happened is the address was real close to something else. I think she they mistyped uh, it before they updated it the yeah, day of. Like that, so yeah. it was off, but it was like too good to be true. But that's what I'm starting <laughs> to find out is if it's too good to be true, it probably, probably isn't, is. especially mm-hmm. around here. So, yeah, for real. It um, was just funny walking through there, though, being like, huh, that... That room looks different. That there's a missing wall here. There shouldn't there be an extra bedroom somewhere. Yeah, what's going on? Wasn't there a spacious living room that could fit a podcast in here? Where is it? I don't see it's it. It's gone. I remember a bathroom with tile, um, not carpet. <laughs> yeah. Uh so with that whole thing, that's it's it sucks, but you know, gotta keep looking. Eventually we'll hit something. Um what was I gonna mention about that place? I was gonna say, I mean, getting catfished with a house. That's bullshit, man. And then the the swap at the end. You imagine with a girl doing that to you? You go on a date, and you see all these pictures, she'll fit, and you go on a date, mm-hmm. she's a monster. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then right you, and then the you go, ends. yeah, as soon as it ends, you want to check your phone to see, look at all these pictures. How, what happened? What and then happened she updates here? it all with current photos. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. What are you talking about? It's been me this whole time. What are you talking about? Prove it. What's the, oh, fuck. Oh, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Updated it. So she pulled the old switcheroo on us. Yeah. But. Well, you should never date someone online if they only have one picture. <laughs> That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. There's a lot of bad signs mm-hmm. you got to look out for. you got to look out for those red flags, boys. We you don't do know a, them, we you'll, do you'll a find Tinder, out. Uh, uh, I know. Rerun. I got to do that. I know a lot oh, of you guys yeah, want a, while. a lot of you guys want Tinder uh, thing to come back. I need to screen cap more. I want to get like a song for the segment and make it all nice. Well, I still have mine for when we did the homework assignment, and I have one of my favorites right here. Uh, okay, it's a picture, and we can't show it because because of reasons. But uh, yeah, there you go. You can read that description. Well, the uh, <laughs> main profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> is an ass. Um, now we're talking. And the ass is in the pajamas where the <laughs> where the ass, it's a onesie. It's and a the onesie ass, ass flap. The ass has a flap. This is a woman. <laughs> reveals the butt. <laughs> and um, let's see. She says, yes, I will let you borrow my onesie PJs. And then the next one says, I'm not that cute, but I have a great personality. And have a lot to offer. A big fat ass. And this <laughs> ass, this ass that is in the I know onesie, this ass. 
is in what looks like a Target dressing room. I thought so too. That's a Target dressing room. Huh? I know this Target. <laughs> She's not even. That doesn't even. She didn't even own it. She's Hold just going to give it, it to you. Don't I show need the to camera. See. It's not. It's too hot for Patreon. I need to see this. I might have to unlock it for you. Yeah, she's in a Target dressing room. There you go. Yeah. Let Fuck. me. I might let have me a further, leftover one. Let me further inspect this picture. It's too good of a segment. We really got to <laughs> do it more. Um. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I that's... accidentally scrolled to I the next a, one. I, no, that's that was a good one too. All right. That's a. Jeez, this lady is just tits. Like I did a lot of research. <laughs> she looks like one of those girls that you'd see like on Mansers. Is she? Like, yes. She has like the world's largest yeah. boobs. Like she holds the record for it. Look yeah. at that. Jesus, it's, it's like, bowling balls. It's like <laughs> they're bigger you, than bowling balls. They're the bigger skin's than all bowling balls. Unnaturally tight Her on them. Candy. Her name is Candy. Of course. They look like they're gonna pop, dude. She's a full time stripper. And she's doing that thing. I hate this. Where they take what? their selfie and they suck in their neck so it looks all thin. And you see the little spin. Striation. Ugh, it's so Justin, gross. Justin, you don't understand the things you have to do for beauty, okay? To be fair, it's probably her ginormous breasts hanging off her chest and striating. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> pulling down her skin <laughs> the so hard. The trying to pull them up. <laughs> that you um, can just see the bones in her neck. Damn, I... Fucking, because I upgraded my phone. I I'll have all my uh, the ones that I was screen capping that were really funny on my other phone. Uh, all I have <laughs> is this one, which was just odd. It probably isn't good enough, but it, it says she's happily married with two kids, and then in parentheses, not happy. Don't tell my husband. I've seen a few of those. Yeah, which is <sighs> wow. sketch as fuck. And then it says I'm looking for a part time babysitter. Huh? <laughs> Yikes! That's Jeez. happening, folks. That's what's happening. I have quite that's, a bit, actually. That's now, what that I, now that I'm looking at all of that's my what uh, it down to. Caps, I have quite a bit. So maybe for the future we could do it. We'll, we'll, recap. we'll pretty it up and we'll make it a segment. Yeah, we'll um, definitely I gotta, have to come back to that. i got to get all the ones that I uh, missed out on. But, um, yes, the move. We're working on it, boys. We're working on it. And it's it's going to happen. What's great is um, when it happens, and we're trying to start now, but there will be more sporadic little streams on our Twitch, too. I like that idea. And then Random. I also want to give EU and East Coast people more love because they deserve it. Yeah, yeah we, for real. We are night owls. so on, is, on the West Coast, too, so it's rough. Being a night owl is our way of life, so it is difficult. But we need to get an AM in there. Gotta At get some point, we'll start AM doing boys. some morning streams. We'll get some AM boys in there. Don't you worry. But, yeah, expect more everything once the house happens. Um, possible World of Warcraft content. Possible. Something I've been... Dreaming about forever. Um, <laughs> so when we brought this up on our Twitch, it was an interesting mixed bag. Well, mostly positive. Well, mostly positive. It, it looked like it was mostly positive, uh, one or two naysayers, and then a, a weird middle area where they're like, they're like, huh. Because uh, one thing that you see when you see people stream wild, they're kind of just playing music, hanging out. It's chilling. Yep. It's like kicking back. Yeah. It just, mm -hmm. It's just on. Not much know? of a content. Especially wow. Wow is just... Well, it has but, like a huge following, right? Well, I don't know. Still, Does it? It's I don't know. still the biggest MMO. Still. By far. That's crazy, man. By a long shot. Yeah. That's what's even more crazy. By a fucking long shot. So uh, what we're thinking of is crafting the the it into a consumable, enjoyable I want to say an experience. Right? We want it to be more like, uh, you know, we're dungeon running together yeah. and we have a common goal yeah. per stream. And it'd only be three or four hours a week. Tops. Put, put on more of like a show when raiding a dungeon kind of thing. Instead of, it's on, I'm blasting Blink-182 and I'm killing boars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By myself. See, this game, when it was great, I mean, I don't know what people, I guess it it's, depends on what you're doing with it. But mm -hmm. when we played back Vanilla when it came out, classic, we, I only right? we only played vanilla. Um, when we played, it was a social game. That was what's yes. fucking great about it. Mm -hmm. And even now, like it's hard to get a hold of a good social game. And I guess it still being the reigning champ of MMO, the reason why you play this game is to hang out with people. Absolutely. As far as my understanding goes, that's I had the hardest, some of the hardest laughs of my life doing it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of nostalgia there. And I don't know if it's just because the new. Uh, Expansion, expansions coming, coming out. out, but the hype's okay. a little, it's a okay. little floating around. There's so buzz. 
So we're we're talking to Milton about joining us. Uh, so that this might happen, but uh, I'm still throwing it in the maybe pile. I don't know. I'm I'm curious. We might do it once. See how it goes. Yeah, we yeah. should maybe try do it, it twice. We should, we should try it out for sure. Maybe a third time. See how it's going, and then we'll kind of decide, decide from, from there. From there yeah. But it would be on a <clears> new day. So I don't think we're taking away anything. We're just giving you more. That's all. Yeah, it's just more. more. It's just more. We're just giving you more. And at the end of the day, it's going to be trying to encapsulate that experience of hanging out with your friend. Land party. Land mm-hmm. party style, goofing with each other, teasing each other, making the game not so much the focal point as much as it is the aspect of all this hilarity that ensues. Think about it as a podcast with yeah. World of Warcraft as the backdrop. Perfect yeah. way to put it. And plus, I finally get into World of Warcraft myself. Yeah, you. So because I have no idea what's going on with that game. I've never really played it other than a few times that you showed me it. But yeah, so we got a lot of different perspectives. Like, yeah, we got uh, an expert joining us. We got people who haven't played since the beginning of vanilla and then mm-hmm. stopped, and then we got people mm-hmm. who've never even touched it. So, yep. so I think we got everything to cover all the bases. So perfect. That's a, a project we've been planning, and I think it would be kind of cool to have it all planned out. So when the stream starts, we're standing in front of this thing. It's dun 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 dun. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do dun 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 this dungeon. Bam 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 bam. Instead of just like, hey guys, okay, so, All right, what's so I'm gonna go farm out. <laughs> I mean that'll silk happen cloth. eventually. But <laughs> that'll happen eventually. But the beginning of the stream would be really cool. Yeah. Um, speaking of things that's really cool, Louis playing Game Boy. Oh, so man. Louis, Louis' new obsession is Game Boys. Cousin Louie has a Wait weird a thing. That sounds weird if you say it like that. What? Game Boys. Like Gamer Boys. Oh, he's <laughs> Game Boys. Game Boys? His, his obsession is Game Boys. Yeah. Gaming Boys? I love Game Boys. <laughs> <laughs> so he's taking Game Boys and painting them. The originals. Well, I guess he kind of goes through these weird, obtuse, you know, obsessions, and this is his new one. Is the taking, newest one. Taking old Game Boys, the big, blocky, gray pieces of shit. Oh, not even a Game Boy Color? No. Like the original? Not even a DS. Se- wow. So okay. I, said, I said I'd understand okay. if he was taking the original Game Boy and squeezing an advanced mm-hmm. sure. Game Boy Advance in there and adding buttons to it, making yeah, yeah. it like a cool That's exterior. Interesting. That's interesting. But no. No. He's no. just... Repainting them? And brightening the screen so bright that it hurts to look at. It's already green and transparent, (laughs) so it's... Big and green and bright. It lights up a fucking room. And he's like, dude. And I just saw a post on Twitter. He went to a swap meet. He had like 20 of them. Oh, no. 20 of them. He's got some work to do. So (laughs) if you're looking for a modded, uh, backlit, uh, paint it, paint job on the buttons, paint job on the exterior, go ahead and hit up Louie at Lunatic Live. He is... He is. He tell. He calls me. Business is booming. You see, he get people hitting him up. People hitting him up in the DMs. All right. Wow. He's getting, business Power is booming. You, brother. He's selling them. Are you kidding me? He's flipping Game you Boys. You know what? Props then. Props. He is flipping Game Boys. But not only that, isn't he like playing music on it too, or something? Oh, oh God. His streams are so. <laughs> oh God. So he has this thing. He's making chip tunes, which is you crack into the Game Boys. Hardware and you can access all the sound that it can all make. All the memory files okay. and access the sounds like <laughs> featuring amazing sounds such as <laughs> yeah eight bit sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so he has it on a loop. So it goes. So he has like one track. He goes. Boop, 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 boop. And then mm-hmm. he adds a new sound. And then he adds another one. Yeah. So you tune in. Yeah. <laughs> so you tune into his stream. Like, <laughs> and then he's always changing yeah. the tempo. So like. <laughs> so I told him, why not just get on like Fruity Loops, able to like <laughs> yeah. make music? Why not just sample Game Boy sounds, but in Fruity Loops? And he says it doesn't. It's not the same. It's not authentic oh, enough for man. me. I'm a purist. You know what? I'll give him that. He's so diehard about playing you, games on their does. original consoles. And... I can't even argue with him because yeah. he won't listen. Yep. But I'm like, you can just go into Ableton and you could set it to Game Boy VSTs. Yeah. It's not the same. No, it, it is. doesn't even sound close. He says, no, it's not even the close. exact same. He did the same thing with the arcade cabinets. It's like, you know, you could get you know an emulator that does all that stuff and you could play all the arcade classic. Not the same. Nope. Not the same as a full thing that takes up so much square footage of your house. It's not worth it. 
Yeah, I, I have no idea. But if he's out here flipping them, then I guess. If he only had the props, same passion man. he had for Game Boys as he had for like education or <laughs> general hygiene, <laughs> love him to death. Wearing underwear, always with such great obsessions. Ah, oh, gotta love him. Gotta Who knows? Love him. Uh, stay tuned. We'll let you guys know next week what his new obsession. I want to give him the beer kit. That we got from the PO oh, box. Oh, that's right. Yep, got yep. a beer kit. We got to give him a Louis tries it. Yeah. We need to give him his obsessions. His next obsession, we need to be the ones responsible for it. He mm. needs to stop being able to pick them. I <laughs> hope I hope we can because I feel like it's like a tuning fork. Yep, his yep. mind just goes. Yeah. And he just kind of looks around and floats mm-hmm. towards something that hums back. I don't know how he gets into <laughs> that. How does he find that stuff? I think he goes in weird corners of the internet, Reddit, and oh, things. Oh, yeah, he goes deep web. He saw one picture of a modded, and his heart went, Oh, oh. And then a f- part of his brain, <laughs> the nostalgia oh. part of his brain fired. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. He, got, he got triggered by a photo of a modded one, I think, if oh, I had to guess. Sense. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, Sounds about right. Speaking of getting triggered by things like that, it was funny. Me and uh, Damon were looking for music to just have on the show. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know how we came up with it. We were watching something about Dragon Ball, some kind of video or something. I think it was either Fighter Z or something. Mm-hmm. And then we were talking about, oh, the original voices. I, saw, oh, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was watching a voiceover panel with some uh, voice actors, and they were talking about Dragon Ball. And then uh, we pulled up. The, I was like, what about the Toonami soundtrack? Oh, yeah. I bet there's oh, cool remixes yeah. of that. So I was like, let me look it up. And then we just found like a spot. I was like, down, 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 Dragon yes. Ball coming up next. And yeah. dude, I kid you not, Damon saw my arm went. Foom, Justin got all the goosebumps. Hair. Dude, that shit brought back so many vivid memories of like jumping on the bed, like, oh, yeah. it's coming on. Do you guys remember that? The, the Tsunami dude. Dragon Ball Z oh. promos. The music with that, all that like, it Yasha. hit us in the nostalgia feel Gundam, so hard. Oh, the Gundam yeah, promos? Yeah. Oh my God. I got hit like a fucking ton of bricks with that, dude. It we were like, cracking boom. up, though, because the hair on Justin's arm stood up. We, like, it was like it was noticeable. We all yeah. went, oh. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, man. I was like, I'm feeling that. Holy <laughs> shit, am I feeling that. That took me back. Because they had like uh, very specific music for whatever the promo was. That mm-hmm. little space guy. I don't even know what the fuck. I haven't watched TV in like forever. Uh, Marvin, not- the, Marvin the Munch, uh, Martian ripoff. They, I think but they brought cool. Toonami back. Yeah, they rebooted it. And they rebooted like, everything, but yeah. That voice actor, the Toonami voice actor, that dude's cool. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, guy's yeah. super he, chill. You know he's cool. Welcome back <laughs> to <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that guy's cool. You guys like Inuyasha, <laughs> they got Sailor like, Moon. They got like yeah. cool anime. Don't change the channel. We'll be right back. Cool. <laughs> that was probably the coolest block of TV as a kid. Mm-hmm. I don't think anything came close. I remember when they, because there was a period of time when they would only loop the same saga of Dragon Ball. They would get to like mid Frieza, and then they'd mm-hmm. loop back to the original the same saga. saga. Yep. I remember when they're like, "All right, the next part of the series where you fight Frieza is coming up," and I was like, "I gotta get home from school after work. I gotta go watch yes. this. I gotta, I gotta go see yes. what happens to Goku." The getting home from school and rushing to your room and turning on Toonami yeah. and watching the Saiyan saga—that was yeah. Dragon Ball Z for me. And That's the, where I first got introduced. The way that they cut those promos mm-hmm. is insane. Like, even now, I watch it. I'm like, I'm hype as fuck. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah. the, the Dragon Ball is such a slow, long show. But when they do those promos, man, it's just scream. Just all the best it's action. Scream, yeah. scream, jumping Send you to another dimension! Oh, my they God. They, like, added reverb to it You're and all this other shit with the techno music in the background. Yeah, it little was pretty kid intense. little mind just explodes. Um, so yeah, that was a good nostalgia trip. Um, speaking of more dope shit, someone uh, did a what was the who who did it now? I remember Big watching head. it. Big Fred Head. Big Fred Head. Shout out to Big Fred Head. He did a calorie killer drum cover. Drum cover. Oh, I saw that. Plays drums. To Join it. our Discord if you want to find it. It was fucking dope. Killed it. And he inspired me by taking his sticky buddy and applying a necklace. A, a, a chain to Genius. it. So now it is a necklace. Look at this. Genius. I'm going to wear this Looking in the good. next music video. This Looking is, good. Someone told me I got to spray paint it gold. Yeah, mm-hmm. got it. That's gold or silver, fucking, yeah. That's fucking amazing. When that's you so do, smart. you got to tweet uh, Anthony Sullivan that. Yeah. <laughs> I had to take the sticky part off because it's just gross. Not as sticky, The, the no not so, sticky part? So now it's just a non-sticky roller, baby. Oh, so it's the same. But it's got the, ridge, it's got the, the ridges in there. The fingers that get in that crack. <laughs> fingers get all up into those cracks. Oh, no cracks and crevices. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, some news here. <clears throat> Facebook's dead. 
That's been dead. That's uh, been dead for me. For dying. A long time. People still use during, Facebook. During I think dead. old people use Facebook. Yeah, they do to, to check stalk on my, their my grandson. children and stuff. I don't Daniel, know. what? Who's this girl? Um, I had to get off of that shit. It, was, I, it got worse dude, and worse I, and worse. I got off of Facebook years ago. I haven't followed up with it at all. But I did see recently that um, Zuckerberg, he like lost all of his money for some shit. Because I guess everybody's tired of Facebook spying on you. Uh, yeah, that piracy thing was a pretty big deal. Yeah. Ooh, how the mighty have fallen, yeah, Mr. So Zuckerberg. I heard that he lost like $15 billion in like five minutes. Oh, that must be nice to have. Fifteen billion dollars to begin with, but to, to but lose, to it, lose sucks it all. Even more. Imagine if I just went, "Hey, here's fifteen do- fifteen billion dollars," and you went, "Cool." I just went, "Now give me all that shit back." Would you uh, feel better? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> shit. So now he wanders the streets. I was the Facebook guy. Yeah, right. Yeah, buddy. yeah, He's yeah. Got a big beard. Yeah, right, buddy. Yeah, you and Tom are hanging out in MySpace. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Zuckerberg can return to whatever planet he's from because that motherfucker does not look human at all. Fuck your earth currency. I do not need your earth currency. <laughs> Flies away. <laughs> Flies back to Mars where he came from. But that's good, though. Hopefully Facebook is done for. No, Facebook fucking sucks. I hate how it's all it's all stolen content. And uh, these pages, the way they get monetized is like, I don't know, at random. It's the it's like the Wild West of the Internet. It's bizarre. It's like Nothing, Facebook's always been more Wild West than any other website. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, when it comes to the monetization on there, nothing is regulated at all, right? Actually, nothing is regulated on Facebook, really. I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, there's ways to report things, but who fucking answers all those? Yeah, Robots? I, I don't know, How do they know? know man. The yeah. algorithm? And then that's all it is, is advertisements, too. Oh, Facebook's yeah. like riddled with ads and just... God, they alert you every five seconds. I still get alerts and emails about shit, and I'm like, I don't, I haven't <laughs> used it. It's like so and so uploaded a photo, and I'm like, somebody want what? somebody invited you to come play Candy Crush. Why like, do <laughs> I care? You've no. been invited to my Farmville. <laughs> to Farmville. Uh, that's and then I f- I remember like being all Facebook as my main thing to check, you yep. know, every day, yep. and Twitter was just like, eh, you write stuff, nah, who reads stuff? <laughs> yeah, so I was like, who you, wants to read what I write? You ah. write just like a few words. That doesn't make sense. I don't want to see people's daily like thoughts. It just sounds like Facebook status updates. At Basically, least, at least Facebook has. Did Twitter? I don't think it had photos and hyperlinks and all that. It did for beginning. A, it did for a while, and then they're like video. started adding video. Yeah. So now that there's links. video, Twitter's the way to go because yeah. they do really well with. I want to follow this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Well, Instagram's going the way of Facebook. Just so you guys yeah. know. It's going that way. It is? Yeah. Aren't they owned yeah, by them? It. I don't think so. I think Facebook owns Instagram. If they do, know. they own a percentage of it, but I don't yeah. think they are. Oh, percentage, yeah. Hmm. Um, I might I, be wrong. I don't know. Yeah. So I've made the switch to Twitter. I haven't looked back since. So Twitter's fuck, fun. Join fuck, our Twitter. Fuck Facebook. Check the Twitter. Fuck Follow Facebook. Us. At your booty dubs. You already are, aren't you? Thank you. You better be. Thank you. I just update when we upload. I don't bother you with nothing. No, no spam. Yeah, yep. uh, when I tweet it means something. When we go to cons, when we go to cons, I'll post a picture of us hanging out and things like that. But I'm not uh, we talking get about how much pad Thai I've been eating. We're not spamming your. I feet. wish it sounds fucking great. Um, another thing that's dying, Movie Pass. Oh yeah, another <laughs> company that's losing a shit ton of money. So you're sitting there saying, what's a movie pass? Yeah, I guess there's this pass. Uh, it was something that you could get, and you pay 10 bucks a month, and you could see as many movies as you want. And it's there was, too, so there was like no a, caps. So it's like a gym membership for a movie for theater. For movie theaters, For yes. movie theaters, not a specific movie not theater. Not even a specific movie theater. Any movie that you wanted to see, you could see as many as you want if you pay 10 bucks a month for this pass. Is it uh, belong to that brand? Or literally um, any theater. Yeah. You can go it's AMC, like a fan it was like, Century. It, yeah, it was, like a fan, it was like his own company. Oh, But yeah. I heard about this, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Sounds like how a lot they, of money How lost. would they make any money at all? Well, I heard, I heard about this company a long time ago. My family was trying to get me uh, to get this movie passed. But just recently, I saw on the news that they're, like, asking other companies for money because yeah, they're yeah. all out of it now because yep. they can't afford to pay for all the movies that people have been seeing because they told them, Yo, uh, you can see as many as you want. So people were out there abusing that shit. And so now they're oh, like... Shit. That's yeah, they're fucked. like going under. Everybody's, everybody's going under. Yeah. Shit's just dying. Wow. But it, it slowly wow. happened because at first you could like wow. see as many movies as you want. And then the company's like, 
Okay, guys, we have right. to limit it. You could you could you cut it down a little one bit? Per day. Maybe like one a day. Some fuckers never leaves. And yeah, so yeah. some people are like, okay, fine, one a day. This theater, this theater, this theater. <laughs> okay, guys, maybe like once a month or once a week until they slowly lost all their money. Yeah, it's weird to think about, especially if you could give your pass to someone. You know what I mean? You're right. Yeah, I don't think they were regulating that either when it yeah. first started. Yeah. 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 Like, I could go to the gym, and I could easily just give you my thing, and you yep. can walk in, scan, and you're in. Just mm-hmm. need an app and the card, and that's all you need. And then, uh, well, realistically, like myself, I probably only go and see, at this point, maybe four tops, four movies a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't been to movies in a while. I've only seen, like, one movie this whole year. I don't even remember what it was. I think I was... But it? hey, guess what, Justin? Uh, Infinity Wars. Yeah, that's your, about it. Your movie pass would have already been paid off. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. 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 Black Panther and the Avengers. That's all I've seen. That's all I've seen. Well, I, I, I have know, movie I pass. Movie pass is a pretty sweet deal if you can get it. It, it was could. when it first came out. So is, you, it, is it still a good deal? Well, I they, mean, they switch it up, right? If you only watch one movie a month, it's paid for. And if you watch two, then you're in, now you're working with the... <laughs> you know, the casino is money. You're working the system. Nah, but uh, it forces you to go watch movies, which is good, especially for me when you want to talk about pop culture stuff, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so at least once a month, I try to go to uh, at least once. You see, you have it. Yeah, I have it. It's ten bucks a month. Ten bucks a month. Is it like not? You can't get them anymore. Oh uh, no, you can still get it. Oh, it's just uh, on this Thursday. It depends on when you're listening to this. <clears throat> uh, when people went to go use their movie pass, it, they're, you're, it's a card, like a credit card. Okay. It was like declined. So people are like, oh, shit, what the fuck? I, did I do something wrong? But it was actually the credit line of the movie pass was depleted. Uh, so. oh. oh, okay, okay. So, so they're, they're not going under. They just can't afford it. Well, they're the, hemorrhaging money. <laughs> yeah, but slowly but surely. Because the business model isn't too uh, flushed out, but uh, they'll get there. Mm-hmm. Jesus. They'll probably sell to a, like AMC, and then they'll recoup losses. Probably what will happen. Speaking of things that are uh, recouping losses, going under... <laughs> World's sexiest weather girl responds after X breaks up with her to play Call of Duty. Hmm. Esports is serious business, boys. So this guy's dating a supermodel. Yeah. And the sexiest weather girl. He broke up with her to follow his game his pro gaming <laughs> career. Broke up with her for some scrims. So uh, the fact that we're talking about the the pro gamer guy who's uh, his, probably his name is in this article somewhere. I think he's face something. I mean, mm. we're talking about him. So now he's probably more popular than ever. And he probably gets spammed with, you know, you, you idiot. You cut. Yeah. You blew it. <laughs> we're, we're reading through this web page right now that like has all the info about it. And there's just like all these white knights like, I would have never done that to her. And I would have never done that to you. Oh, but like under her picture. me, I would treat oh. her right. Oh, no. I treat my woman like a queen. I would never pick Call of Duty over you. Oh, she looks naked there. Oh, Jesus. She's, bu- she's naked. Oh, jeez. She's a um, Yeah, I don't know. Well, she's pretty hot, Let's though. say this. She is pretty hot. Let, he is pretty this. dumb. What if he uh, was trying to be a pro basketball player? Right. And he dumped her. Would this be to an be article? Better, to be better at the sport so he can win a championship. Because she's just like, you're always at the fucking court. And she's holding him back from getting his ring? Would would this be an article? You think? I don't think it would be that big a deal. I think it'd be. I think it makes sense. Yes, because he'd be like, oh, he's probably mm-hmm. pro basketball in good shape. He's making money. He'll probably yeah. Something about it being a video game makes it like funny. Yes. Yeah. So it's like there's still like that that stereotype that like and he's not I, like I, pro gaming is not you know like a legit thing. Yeah, and the guy's not like a a weird like a. Uh, basement dwelling troll. No, he looks like a normal he's dude. He's got a nice he's haircut. In he's in good shape. He's a handsome dude. But it's Maxim's top report of the week. How Broke could up. he? Broke he's, up with her. If he if duty. he streams, I wonder if he's just getting spammed. Or does it make him look cooler? Right. I mean, in that, yeah, in that realm, popular. everybody's talking sure about him. There's a good portion of people being like, "Whoa, dude, you don't even care. Like, must be a G, bro." He's fucking gangster, <laughs> Respect. <bro>. Don't <laughs> but, let him fucking hold you down, But he's bro. So he's a Call of Duty guy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So maybe he leveled up and he got max level, right? He mm-hmm. got the top-notch poon. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like, you know what? I'm a prestige. I'm a star oh, from yeah. the bottom, yeah, man. Yeah, he played that game a lot. Yeah. He's maybe. in his fucking mind. He's just trying to run a new game plus on this girl and start over. He played that game so much it got boring. But Call of yeah. Duty... Still, 
on. That speaks volumes, man. That mm. makes her look bad, actually. If some people see uh, face value, he's probably most people like, well, what a dork. But then uh, also, what does it say about her? Yeah, he was able to pull her in the beginning, so mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll do just fine. She's the one dating a pro gamer. Pro gamer. Pro gamer. That's date, true. You date a pro gamer. You got to expect that when you're dating a pro gamer. You got to be up there, boy, if you're a pro. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to be on it. Per, what fucking percentage of gamers are actual pros? It's probably fucking tiny as fuck. Very tiny. Mm -hmm. You probably take a group photo. I'll fit in one <laughs> frame. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah, like yeah. a class of people. Yep. It's like a fucking only so many. Esports, well, you and can then, make some well, good money. Actually, yeah, you get into the league and stuff. I always yeah. forget. I My mind ignores that whole area of Twitch. The league and Dota. Esports. Mm -hmm. Where they have fucking ESPN that's dedicated. Yes. ESPN 3. Yeah. No, ESPN. Game? Yeah. Just ESPN. regular. They put it on yeah. TV. Regular ass ESPN. I remember I went to Buffalo Wild Wings just to go get Buffalo Wild Wings. Mm-hmm. And they had League of Legends night on all the screens, and people were wow. watching League of Legends. League of Legends night? Like, they, yeah, like, instead of the big basketball game oh. on the screens, they had League of Legends. That's crazy. And all the neckbeards were there fucking jamming down some, you know, cool. habaneros. Our time is now, boys. And I was just like, wow. Choking this on is... some spicy bird. <laughs> How are the wings? It's Buffalo Wild Wings. It tastes like shit. It's awful. It's and they awful. fucking had terrible fucking League of Legends on the screens. It was the worst experience of my life. Doesn't sound very good. Um, oh, man. How long have we been doing this? We're coming up. <laughs> For to 10 it. years. Um, <laughs> Too long. I, it's hard now that we're doing it on video. I can't see the, the time. Looks like it's 55 minutes. Hey, look at that. An hour. Oh, perfect. An hour really flies by. Oh, yeah. Um. So those of you on Patreon, thank you for joining us for this video experience. This will be exclusive to you yeah, and only enjoy you. It. So enjoy. And we appreciate your support. With that support, we're going to be able to keep this pirate ship afloat. Boy, I tell you what. Whoosh, mm, top mm. of the morning to you. Whoosh, uh, Ooh. Um, we're going to work on these segments. We're going to spice things up around here. I'm going to work on little intros. Mm -hmm. Some sound cues. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get the, the drops going again. Uh, we got two stream decks in here, so we can we can share the love. If someone yep, else yep. wants to hold one, and we can have a double yeah, sound board. To, yeah. Don't want to go. You, you got to be tasteful with the drops. You oh, guys of have course, a, of I course. Remember. I need to get myself. I need to get familiar with the stream deck. I'm still working. You should it have out. a deck off. We'll deck you off. Should. Um, but yeah, I need to work on little segments and things. We're gonna get, we'll do more news stuff. Let more, us know. Yeah, more production value. Let us know about the soon. segments, guys. Listening, what you guys like, what you want to see, what you think. Yeah, let us know on. Uh, Discord or the Twitter on Patreon too. Below, Patreon. The, below this yeah. Patreon post would be the best way to do that. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's the best way. And if there's anything uh, you uh, want to see from us, yeah, you might give us an idea. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a big resounding more Twitter pro or more Tinder profiles, mm -hmm. which is fine with me. Which is fine. So I know that's I know that's the spiciest yet. So I'm gonna spice it up. I'm gonna meet the spice with extra spice, and it's gonna get hot in here. All right, it's gonna nice. be a spice. It's gonna get hot in here. Thank you guys for joining us. Guys, we love you. It, it truly has been another fantastic podcast. Dare I say. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you next time, huh? Thank you, man. We'll see you. Patreon, I love you. Later. Later, guys. Bye, JT. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our salon. Yes. Stop recording. Oh, hi. all right. Bye.